Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the ClickUp calendar view or time view. So this is where you're going to be able to really visualize all of the start and due dates for your tasks and start to plan ahead for what you need to get done. Just like our list and board view options, you do have the option to view all spaces from time view. So that means right now I'm seeing all of the tasks across my entire team. Alternatively, I can always select one space to view or even a single project or a single list. If I ever want to zoom in on just the action items that pertain to me, I can also switch over to the Me tab up here. So this is only going to show the tasks and items that are related to me. But for now, we'll jump back into the Team tab here. There's also a lot of different ways to view the calendar as far as the amount of time showing up. So you can see tasks by month. You can also view them within a single week a four day view or even a day view if I wanna plan out just what's going on for the coming day. If my tasks already have start and due dates, they're of course going to show up on the calendar. However, my unscheduled tasks are going to exist here in the right sidebar. I can actually just drag and drop these onto the calendar to schedule those, elongate due dates, change the start date if I want, or I can just drag them back into the sidebar if I want to schedule them later on. You also have all of the filtering options that you have in these other two views in time view. So if I'm in the team tab and I only want to view tasks, for instance, by a certain assignee, I can do that. I can also layer these filters accordingly. So for example, you can always do that. You can also filter by status to see only the tasks that exist within one specific status. If I have subtasks that I'm working with and I need those to show up on the calendar, all I need to do is come up to this toggle and flip that on, and you'll be able to see all of my subtasks. You'll be able to identify these as subtasks because you'll see a small little subtask icon on the left corner of the task. There are also two different ways that you can color your tasks in time view. So for instance, you can see that I've actually added colors to my lists within my advertising project here because I'm almost using my lists as mini projects. If I go over to the little cog on the right hand side here, you can see that I can actually color my tasks by the parent list color. Alternatively, I can always go to status to show the custom status color of those tasks if I wanna see how each of my tasks is progressing. If I'm working with milestones and I wanna see, for instance, um, the start and due date for an entire list, once I've added that to a list, I'm gonna be able to see that show up on my calendar. And now I can actually drag and drop my tasks from this list onto the calendar in order to schedule those. If you want more information than that to show up on your tasks, come up to the cog here and go over to the show items option. So for here, you can show who the assignee is for a given task, priority, um, any subtasks that exist within the task. Location is also really great if you need to be reminded of the project and list that this task belongs to. The multitask toolbar is also a really handy feature to be aware of in the calendar view. And this is going to allow you to make bulk changes to your tasks in just a couple of clicks. So if I'm on a Mac, all I need to do is press command click on my keyboard and I can select multiple tasks. And if you are using a Windows, you can just do control click. From there, you're gonna see the multitask toolbar bar appear. So I can actually set watchers for my tasks, assignees, I can set new due dates and start dates, move them to new locations, and lots of other options. The last thing that I'm gonna to recommend to you about TimeView is to look into our um, integrations with Google Calendar, 
Outlook, iCal, um, and all of our other options. Our Google Calendar integration is actually going to allow you to conduct a two-way sync. So any of these tasks in the calendar are automatically going to sync to your Google Calendar, and any changes you make to the tasks from Google Calendar are also going to be added back to ClickUp. So I hope that helps you gain some familiarity with TimeView. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at help at clickup.com.